Welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to explain to you exactly what is Meta Analysis Academy and why you should become a part of our team. First, let me start off with some introductions. My name is Randerson Cardozo. I'm a cardiologist in Boston, USA. But my journey didn't start here in Boston. I'm actually from a small town in the northern part of Brazil. And how I got from that small town to become a cardiologist in Boston, Massachusetts, has everything to do with this project and is why, exactly why, you should be a part of this too. But before we go any further, I must tell you that whatever I discuss in this video or in this channel is not related in any way to Brigham and Women's Hospital and Harvard Medical School where I work. The opinions here that I say are only mine and they do not necessarily reflect the opinion of my employers. Also, whatever I say is not to be taken as medical advice. That's very important for you to know. Okay, so I had a pretty standard upbringing for the area that I lived in. We were low middle class, um, had a great family. Everyone was close together, small town, a rural lifestyle, let's say, going to the farm all the time. And then it was amazing growing up. But then when I, it was time to go to medical school or to go to college, I moved away to a big town. And from there, I came to the United States to do my residency program. At some other point, I'm going to explain a little bit more about that journey of how I decided to come to the United States for residency. But fact of the matter is I matched as an internal medicine resident at the University of Miami right out of medical school. Now, my residency was absolutely amazing at Jackson Memorial Hospital, one of the largest hospitals in the U.S., University of Miami, great people, great friends, great mentors. Patients were diverse, a lot of clinical volume. I really had an amazing training over there. But there's no doubt that the program that I matched into residency, as great as, as it was, was a much more clinically oriented program than a research oriented program. And in the beginning, I struggled to get research going because I was very busy clinically and I needed to get that research productivity in because I wanted to match in a strong program for cardiology. That was always my desire to like to either stay at the University of Miami, which was a great program, or even go to another program for cardiology fellowship. And I knew I needed to publish for that. You see, in the United States, unlike many other countries in the world, unlike, like Brazil, for example, where I'm from, there's no specific test that you get into a fellowship. It really depends on who you are as a person, your curriculum, your publications, and then your letters of recommendation. And it, in this system, having publications, having academic productivity goes a long way in getting you ahead in your career and getting you into fellowship. But you see, I was working up to 80 hours a week as a resident. I really didn't know statistics. I didn't have time. I didn't know the people initially when I matched into residency. So I had these same barriers that you may have uh, wherever you are in the world and uh, to getting research done. But I knew I had to publish. I knew I had to get there. I don't know how, but I knew I had to if I wanted to get a good program for cardiology. And then something happened that completely changed my life. I learned one specific method for research, one that put everything in my hands. I could develop the idea, uh, work on it, do the statistics, do the figures for the paper, write the manuscript and publish it without really relying on others to do the work for me. Everything was in my hand. And when I learned this method, I started to apply it. And within a few years of my residency, I achieved nearly 20 publications, mostly using this one specific method. And of course, that changed my life and eventually allowed me to match in an amazing program for cardiology, the Johns Hopkins Hospital, which is where I did my training my cardiology fellowship. You know, but this method allowed me much more than just to do research. Once I perfected it, once I got very good at doing it myself, I started to teach my colleagues. I started to teach my co-residents, some medical students, anyone that asked for my help in getting research done. I did this a lot as a chief resident at the University of Miami. And then I noticed that my students, the people that were learning from me, were having the same results as that I was. You know, they started publishing more and more and in great journals. So altogether in the last few years, I've taught this method literally to hundreds of students and they've had amazing results. They've published in International Journal of Stroke, Resuscitation, uh, Catheterization and Cardiovascular Interventions, European Journal of Pediatrics, 
So you can see that it, they've gone well beyond just cardiology and have applied the same method in many different fields of medicine. You know, altogether, we've had more than 200 abstract students, meaning the number of abstracts that our students have presented in national or international scientific meetings. Also, we've had more than 40 publication students. The number of publications by our students in index journals, you know, the ones that go to PubMed, like the ones I've showed you. So exactly what method is this? Well, as you can imagine from the name of the channel, I'm talking about systematic reviews and meta-analysis. And in this channel, with the help of collaborators, experienced researchers, former students, we are going to teach you exactly how you can do this as well, how you can publish your own systematic reviews and meta-analysis. I'm going to teach you that in this meta-analysis academy. And of course, the ultimate goal is that this will open doors in your career, just like it opened in mine. I want you to be able to achieve your goals in international training, residency in the US or in your home country. Maybe you want to get a master's degree or a PhD, a teaching position in your academic institution. Whatever it may be, having these publications will help you get there, just like it helped me achieve my own goals. So if you want to do exactly just that, if you want to open the doors in your career, if you want to advance your career in the direction that you want it to go, with the publications of systematic reviews and meta-analysis, you can count on me to help you do that. Subscribe to this channel, hit the like button, and follow me for future videos teaching you exactly how to do that.